Today we're learning how to solve word problems with fractions. Here's our first problem. Jasmine cuts an apple into eight equal pieces. She eats three pieces and puts the other five pieces into a container to save for later. What fraction of the apple did Jasmine eat? Every time I have a word problem like this, I try to imagine what's happening. Here I can imagine that Jasmine has this apple and cuts it into eight pieces. Then she eats three pieces and puts the other five into a container. We need to identify the fraction of the apple that Jasmine eats. The problem tells us, and we can see in the picture, that Jasmine eats three pieces. So this will be our numerator. Then the denominator of our fraction is the total number of pieces of the apple. The problem tells us there are eight pieces of apple, so our denominator is eight. Jasmine eats three-eighths of the apple. Now let's practice together. Mr. Ramos has eight markers that he uses to draw on the whiteboard. Three of the markers are blue, and five of the markers are red. What fraction of the markers are red? We can start by imagining all of Mr. Ramos' markers. The problem asks us what fraction of the markers are red. Well, how many red markers are there? There are five red markers. Where in my fraction should that five go? The five is my numerator. Next, which of these is the best description of the denominator? The denominator will be the total number of markers that Mr. Ramos has. The problem tells us that Mr. Ramos has eight markers, so our denominator will be eight. Five eighths of Mr. Ramos's markers are red. Here's another problem to practice with. Lilia's mom is preparing lunch. She fills four cups with apple juice, and she fills two cups with water. What fraction of the cups did Lilia's mom fill with apple juice? Just like with all word problems, our first job is to imagine what's happening. We can imagine the four cups of apple juice and two cups of water. What should the numerator of my fraction be? We're looking for the fraction of cups that are filled with apple juice. So the numerator will be the number of cups of apple juice. There are four cups of apple juice, so our numerator is four. What should the denominator of my fraction be? The denominator will be the total number of cups. While the problem didn't tell me the total, I can count up that all together there's six cups. So my denominator is six. Four sixths of the cups are filled with apple juice. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Eric brings 12 cupcakes to school for his birthday. Four of the cupcakes are chocolate, and eight of the cupcakes are vanilla. What fraction could represent the number of chocolate cupcakes? Well, Eric's bringing these 12 cupcakes to school, and we're looking for chocolate cupcakes. So our numerator will be the number of chocolate cupcakes. We have four chocolate cupcakes, so our numerator is four. The denominator of the fraction will be the total number of cupcakes. Eric brings a total of 12, so our denominator is 12. Four twelfths of the cupcakes are chocolate. Now here's your last problem for this video. James has six short sleeve shirts and four long sleeve shirts in his closet. What fraction of his shirts are short sleeved? We can imagine James six short sleeve shirts and four long sleeve shirts. We want to know the fraction of short sleeve shirts, so the numerator will be the number of short sleeve shirts he has. There are six short sleeve shirts, so our numerator is six. Next, the denominator is the total number of shirts, which we can see is ten. So six tenths of James' shirts are short sleeved. Today you learned how to describe word problems with fractions. Nice job!